In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Risen Christ, please give your mother the graces needed by your priests to reject liberal theology and remain steadfast to the tradition of our faith. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hi again, everyone. A Netflix streaming of a blasphemous film that portrays a gay Jesus and a poster which portrays Jesus in the act of pedophile impulses displayed at a museum in Rome are discussing or disgusting the Catholic world. Cardinal Burke, this is what he says. Art has become an expression of the meaningless, I think it should be meaninglessness of life without God. They hate Christ because he reveals this emptiness. It's scandalous that bishops and priests remain silent when God is attacked. It is a sign of the grave crisis in the church. The faithful should make acts of reparation and make use of every lawful means to prevent these obscenities from proliferating. They call it art, but it is an expression of the emptiness of life without God and rebellion against the law that God has placed in the heart of every person. And the silence of priests and bishops in the face of these disgusting attacks on the Lord is a sign that also the situation in the church is very serious. Cardinal Raymond L. Burke does not mince his words in judging the clamorous blasphemous works masked as artistic expression. In particular, just recently, two cases have conquered the news headlines. The obscene poster of a pedophile Jesus on display outside the Contemporary Art Museum of Rome and the film about a gay Jesus, The First Temptation of Christ, on the Netflix streaming platform, which is provoking a very strong reaction from Christian communities around the world. And so, as not to miss the icing on the cake, there is a case of the mega poster, poster affixed to a Vatican building in Via della something or other in Rome, a stone's throw from San Pietro, advertising the film, also on Netflix, entitled The Two Popes, a commercial operation of dubious content that has perplexed and scandalized many faithful passing by. All right, so what what the rest of the article is, is a question and answer interview with uh, Cardinal Burke. If you want to read it, the link's, uh, the link's in the description box. And um, what are you going to say? Uh, well, what I'm going to say is I'll talk to you later. Bye.